What's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got some more NBA news to of course be talking about with you guys. For those of you who haven't heard about this, the Golden State Warriors have actually hired Kenny Atkinson to be their new assistant head, you know, assistant head coach really is kind of the phrase there looking at this. It's actually being labeled as lead assistant, but there are people, you know, some people calling it assistant head, which I don't know, it's a very weird kind of uh, position they've given him here because I honestly thought their lead position was actually Mike Brown who was the former Cleveland Cavaliers coach for quite a long time and even won coach of you know the year at one stage too uh, with the Cleveland Cavaliers like a little bit ago I believe it was like 2009 or something like that but it is still you know being confirmed that he is still at the Golden State Warriors so I'm not exactly too sure how that is all you know, kind of going, but the Warriors absolutely love Mike Brown, it seems like, I mean, they haven't made the playoffs in the last two years, and it's not like they've started firing random coaches, etc., like Mike Brown, they've actually decided to keep him around, what I think is really weird is that Kenny Atkinson actually signed a contract to be the Los Angeles Clippers assistant coach last year, which I thought was a bizarre, you know, decision, considering... I thought there was a real big chance for this dude to become a head coach in the league again. You know, for example, I actually said Kenny Atkinson would have been a better head coach for the Chicago Bulls than what Billy Donovan would have been. And look, I'm not too sure if I stand by that because I believe what Billy Donovan is doing is great. I think he knows that Larry Markin is not that good, so he doesn't really care about him anymore. And he knows that Kobe White's probably going to be like a future six man in the league. So he's starting to bring him off the bench. Those are two things that I agree on, and I didn't expect any coach to really do that. Like, I thought they would have just started, you know, keep starting Larry Markin and Kobe White, but both are coming off the bench now, and Larry Markin probably won't be there much longer. So it's pretty crazy to me that Billy Donovan actually had the guts to do that. And it's worked pretty well, and I think it will work in the future with them most likely signing Lonzo Ball to be their new starting point guard, where they'll continuously bring Kobe White off the bench. But I don't know if Kenny Atkinson would have done that. And honestly, Kenny Atkinson, though, in my opinion, coached one of the funnest teams in, like, NBA history to watch. And that was that Brooklyn Nets 2018 and 19 team. Like, there were some people saying that that team wouldn't get five wins. And that team would be the worst team in history. And it came out and won 42 games. They won more games than they lost. And it seemed like Kenny Atkinson really turned some of these young players into like future stars like he turned D'Angelo Russell into a star for a brief time before Russell kind of fell off now and Kenny Atkinson and D'Angelo Russell were realistically the reasons that Brooklyn has Kevin Durant, James Harden and Kyrie Irving right now like if Kenny Atkinson and D'Lo never made the playoffs that season they wouldn't have that big throw that they have now it's just a shame that of course D'Angelo Russell is not there anymore because in my opinion he was the king of Brooklyn and I love what he did in that season that he had with the Nets and I wish he was still there but we're in a different landscape of the NBA right now where Kenny Atkinson is also not even the coach of the Brooklyn Nets and he's kind of just become the assistant coach for the Golden State Warriors which I feel like is also a very very weird decision I don't understand why he is becoming an assistant coach to these, you know, teams that have already established head coaches, like Ty Lu, who got hired with the Clippers. I, I know that there was a chance Ty Lu and the Clippers were not going to be as good as what they could have been, because a lot of people don't have faith in Ty Lu. but I always did, and I always knew that Ty Lu was a very, very good offensive coach, and didn't just rely on the Cavs and LeBron for his success, and I knew he could establish something in LA which he did, and led the Kawhi Leonard Les Clippers to the conference finals. Kenny Atkinson was never going to be their head coach. They were never going to fire Ty Lue, really. There was a small chance of that happening. Now he's becoming the Golden State Warriors assistant coach, where they have Steve Kerr, a three-time NBA championship head coach. What is he even thinking here? Like, I just don't get it. If I was him, I would have probably looked to become an assistant coach of like maybe the Cleveland Cavaliers who I've mentioned a couple times in this video who they have JB Bickerstaff right now as their head coach who's probably got a season left in him and if they have another bad season this year they're probably going to be looking for a new head coach and I've always thought Kenny Atkinson was an underrated head coach 
So I don't know. I would have gone to a team like that. Or even the Detroit Pistons, who I believe still have Dwayne Casey. I don't know what's going on there. But you'd think he'd be short-term there as well. Maybe he just didn't get offers. I don't really know. But surely there would have been other teams out there that would have wanted him as a coach. Look at the Washington Wizards and the Orlando Magic. They haven't got a coach yet, and the guys that they're looking at, I believe, are unestablished coaches that have never been a head coach before, that have never led, you know, led a young team. Kenny Atkinson is a perfect development coach that led what was supposed to be one of the worst teams in NBA history to the playoffs and made D'Angelo Russell an all-star. Again, how has he not been hired as a head coach in this league, and why is he assistant coaching for the Golden State Warriors? But if you're a Warriors fan, you guys got to steal here. Considering they have pick 7 and 14, which I think they'll trade, let's just say they decide to draft players there. Kenny Atkinson's your guy. He's going to develop James Wiseman, pick 7, pick 14, Eric Pascal, Jordan Poole, etc. Into being some very decent players and some very nice rotational pieces. And in James Wiseman's case, a potential all-star. It's just got to take time. But I don't expect Kenny Atkinson to be on the Warriors for very long. So Warriors fans, you gotta you gotta take it in while while it's happening because I don't think Kenny Atkinson will be here for long. I think he'll either be a head coach next year or he'll go to his third team in third years where you'd think he'd be smart enough to go to a team that maybe would of course be looking to maybe fire their coach very soon. So he'd probably become an assistant coach there. Hey. Who even knows? But of course, I'd very much like to hear all of your thoughts and opinions on this down below. What do you guys think about the Golden State Warriors, of course, officially hiring Kenny Atkinson to be their new assistant coach? Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my gaming channel and my IRO slash long channels. And don't forget to check out my podcast as well, if you haven't already, which I will, of course, link in the description down below. You know, but as I was saying, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Through the highways, and the